Hello, I'm Kerry Mason, live on location, where in just a few minutes we'll be talking with Aaron Lee in reference to the winterization process that goes on annually here at Lynchburg Groves. Well, we spent a lot of the, we spent all year growing, um, and during the summer months it's often difficult to get much going in here besides peppers and tomatoes. So we really look forward to the winter time when we can grow spinach and arugula and spring mix, all of which we sell to restaurants in the area and uh, city schools, not to mention the county schools that surround the city. So uh, we've been very successful with that. This is our second year growing all year round. We don't heat these greenhouses. So when many folks are out in their yards mulching and preparing for next spring, we're actually just keep on going with it. Um, we're blessed to have these greenhouses where they keep a lot of the cold off of the plants. And then we also come in here and double insulate some of the plants on the colder nights to keep them from any frost damage. Are there any particular plants that are more fragile in the winter months? Absolutely. Uh, you're going to have a hard time growing basil, uh, which we grow a lot of during the summer. Um, it's just not one of those things that tolerates the cold very well. Um, you know, and, and, and peppers are another one, which we grow during the summer, but you know, we, we try and stay away from them, or we have to stay away from them the rest of the year. Yeah, I, I noticed that you have a, a large variety of, uh, I guess, the cabbage family. We've got, uh, we've got a lot of uh, leaf lettuces going on. It's five varieties mixed. We also have a spinach uh, that we pick as a baby spinach and sell it as such. We have carrots, as you can see over there, um, Swiss chard. Um, in one of our other greenhouses, we do have heads of cabbage growing. Uh, we do have some, some onions growing up here. Uh, so we try and keep it, you know, keep it fresh uh, with what we're going, not trying to have a monoculture in here but also grow something that folks want to buy from us and something that folks uh, would enjoy eating you know, at this time of year.